Hi everyone, welcome back with another vlog. Just for a change, we had our iftar at a park nearby. I prepared few recipes so that we could carry to the park. Hope you would like it. Keep watching. This video was taken few days back when kids had school. They are on vacation now. The school will reopen after Eid. Almost two weeks break for the kids. Now I was preparing a Thai sweet dessert, mango sticky rice. It was suggested by my dear friend Jinu. So for this you need glutinous rice. Here I got from Lulu. I'm sure you'll find it in many supermarkets. As the name says, it's really a very sticky rice. So you have to soak it at least eight hours or overnight. I had actually forgotten to soak overnight. So as soon as kids left to school, I soaked one cup rice in water. While washing the rice, just rub between your palms so that the starch reduces. For suhoor, I was making black chana dal curry and Kerala puttu. So, just pre-soaking the dal. I have both the recipes separately, so shall link below. Kids used to come early as the Ramzan timings were short. As a snack, I was preparing cabbage rolls with chicken filling, similar to the lettuce wraps I had shown earlier. I felt that the weather was getting a bit dull, so just checked outside and it was like it would rain that day. For the cabbage roll filling, heat a vessel. Add 2 tablespoons of ghee or oil, crush a piece of ginger, 3 to 4 garlic cloves and 3 to 4 green chilies. Saute until the raw smell goes. Add minced chicken around quarter to half kilo. And there it goes. It started to rain lightly. I felt that our plans would not work. It wasn't heavily raining so there was a little hope. That's the burn marks and it's almost gone now. Grate 2 small carrots and chop 1 capsicum. The water from the minced chicken is all dried, so add the carrots and capsicum. You may add more vegetables if you are not using chicken. Then quarter teaspoon garam masala powder, quarter teaspoon turmeric powder. Mm -hmm. 
chop a handful of coriander leaves and add. Some salt and pepper. Mix for 2 minutes and then off the flame. Cut the core of the cabbage and separate each leaves. Last time when I had made the lettuce wraps, many of you had suggested to steam the leaves rather than boiling in water so that the nutrients doesn't get lost. So this time I'm steaming the cabbage leaves. Wash the leaves well and steam for 10 to 15 minutes. Now for the mango sticky rice, you'll need coconut milk. Fresh one is much tastier than tin. Add 2 cups of grated coconut with 1 cup water and blend. Then strain the milk. You will need 2 to 2 and a half cups of coconut milk for the sweet sauce and half cup for the salted one. So totally extract 3 to 3 and a half cups of thick coconut milk. Since I had used this tin to measure the rice, using the same for making the coconut sauce. 2 cups of coconut milk. To that I added 3 fourth cup of sugar. You can add more if you need extra sweetness. I felt I could have added little more so I guess 1 cup sugar is a good measurement. Then half teaspoon salt. Now heat the coconut milk in low flame until the sugar melts. Never ever boil the milk, it will curdle. So make sure the flame is low or very low. The sugar is all melted, so taking it off. Drain the water from the rice completely and it's time to steam. Add a cheesecloth or any clean cotton cloth on the steamer and add the rice. Now cover it with the cloth. Make sure there are holes being seen on the side so that the steam is allowed to come on easily and the rice is well cooked. So don't forget this step. Then steam for 30 minutes. Now for the salted coconut sauce, if the milk is very thick, skip this step or else add half tablespoon of rice flour and mix with little water. Add this to the coconut milk along with half teaspoon salt. Here again keep on low flame and do not boil. When it reaches the boiling point, off the flame. Roll the cabbage leaves as shown, cut the center hard part slightly, add the filling, close the sides and then roll. Just pass a toothpick so that it's easy to toss on the pan while shallow frying. You can skip this step if you are having it without frying. The bigger leaves can be cut into half, removing the center part. Fill and then roll. Just stuck in the sides. The rice is well steamed and cooked. Add the sweet coconut milk and keep closed and you can see the rice must have completely absorbed in the milk. For an extra spiciness, add some red chilli flakes while frying the cabbage rolls. I had to quickly clean off the sink before leaving.
slicing mango to have along with the rice. All packed and time to leave. It was really refreshing to break the fast outside. A change is always good. That's the mango sticky rice. While having it, add some salted coconut sauce over it. It was really yum. Make sure the mangoes are really ripe and sweet. Late night I had gone gym. I don't go daily twice in a week while in Ramzan as it's really hard sometimes. But this is how I get all my energy for the next days. Was really hungry later so straight to Salman Sweets. I had told about this shop while I had made a mutton halim in one of my previous videos. The seatings was less there so they bring it over a tray to the car. I come here to have mutton halim and the samosas. And that's for today's vlog and I hope you liked it. Do try out the recipes and let me know your feedback. Share among your friends and family. See you with another one. Until then, take care. Assalamualaikum.